my name's Chris Jackson. I'm with the global business development team here at Esri. And uh, what we're showing at the, the exhibition here is innovation within the fields of architecture, engineering, and construction. Um, and some specific examples that I'll just quickly explain around how we're helping for our customers to use GIS in more innovative ways to improve project collaboration, to improve project efficiency, productivity on site, and also how to capture real world features as fast as possible. Okay. So in this example, um, using LiDAR uh, imagery to do feature extraction for power lines. So the customer in, did not have accurate drawings or uh, accurate records of their facilities and assets. So using the GIS, we can rapidly capture um, satellite based imagery, airborne imagery, and then use that um, point cloud to generate features, in this case, power lines and the pylons to carry the transmission cables. In this next example, again, the, the client did not have their pre-built design plans for where the solar panels were going to be built. So using some training data, we can train a deep learning model to go find all of the features that match our training data and very rapidly create um, features of the built assets, in this case for this solar, solar farm that's being built. And then from that, use that as a way of forecasting how long it will take to complete the rest of the project. So it's a way of rapidly creating data to give some insight and to make it actionable so that people can adjust their project plans um, without having to do traditional survey. And in this final example, it's starting to create connected digital twins. So everybody's got a digital twin of something. Uh, and what we see is, is the innovation of building the, bringing those digital models together using GIS as the common framework uh, to put this into context. So in these examples, it's bringing BIM models using the IFC format and fusing that with the GIS data to enable planners and designers to get a better sense of how their plan will work in the real world and to make adjustments and to collaborate. So here we can see that they're using some VR technology, um, bringing into a 3D viewer the detailed model of this bridge, getting into the very detailed components of the bridge, but within the context of the wider geographic area. So we can then do some different analysis around, for example, flood modeling or geological modeling to make sure that the design is going to work in the real world.